speak your word, O Lord. And may you anoint, O Lord, Father, the ears that we hear your word this morning, O Lord. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Spirit, O Lord, confirm your word, the word of the living God, O Lord, and keep it into our soul this morning, O Lord. Grant it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we commit this Sunday school class, may you start with us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit this environment unto you, O Lord. May you sanctify it with your Holy Spirit, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every contrary spirit, every spirit of buying and selling, every dissenting spirit, we come against them this morning in the name of Jesus. Every garden of uh, darkness, rural of darkness, principality, O Lord, we come against them this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way in our midst this morning, O Lord, and take control, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. All our brethren that are still coming down, may you bring them down here safely, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, Father. As we continue, may you continue with us, O Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Without wasting much of our time. If children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sovereigns of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in God's. And all these sicknesses, all this uh, hard time, all these things, they are not to be compared with the glory that's going to be revealed with us when he comes to take us home. God will help us. Let's go to another place. Let's go to the book of uh, Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter 2. We are going to read from verse 1 to 12. Second Timothy, chapter 2, 1 to 12. I read. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that worried entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully? The husband man that laboreth must be first partaker of the first fruit. The husband man that labor it must be first partaker of the first fruit. Consider what I say, and the Lord give the sorry, I take it again. Consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer. 
even unto bands, but the words of God is not bound. Therefore, I endure it, and endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal, with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. O oh Lord, dear Father, King of glory, may your words be blessed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. May you come down, O oh Lord, Father, and use me. I'm nothing before you this morning. I'm waiting for you and looking for you, O oh Lord. I don't have any words of my own, Lord. Come down, Father, O Lord. Speak through me. I know it, O oh Lord. Every one of us here this morning, and bless us together, O oh Lord. Grant it, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Let us have our seats. See where we read. And that's where you've. Francis, I'm, I, I want you to look at it. Sorry, it's not our distance, but I just want to. The husband man that laboured must be first partaker of the fruit. Know this fast. At times, uh, I, when uh, my mother was alive, whenever my mother cook, do you know the first thing my mother would do? My mother would do this, anything, anything, any soup, anything. The first thing my mother would serve my father's first. I'm not saying, ah, I did not know until I came across this scripture. My mother would, would make sure that whenever he cooked, she would serve her husband first. Immediately, it's bringing from the uh, pot from the uh, fire like this. We will bring place for your daddy to serve his own first before any other person. It's now that I got to know the, this. Uh, when I was going to, to I, I came across it. I said, "Oh, God!" In those days, they don't know much about scripture. I don't know where it's, uh, where, it's, where she got it from. from. She attended Baptist church, and they don't read Bible like that there. God will help us. But this one not saying that maybe you. Uh, because his husband man, that's his man that's labor. So the man that more that one, he, he, our sister, I trust our sister. They are so serious and so uh, they know how to take care of their husband at home. You know, there are some sisters they say, after all, I'm the head of the family. I'm the one providing for this family. So I must be the one to eat first. It's not done that way. God will help us in Jesus' name. So now for this morning, sorry, it will be brief enough. So where we are going this morning. He said, this verse 12. He said, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we suffer, we will reign with our Lord Jesus Christ. But if we deny him, he also deny us. So this morning, we are going to look at this little topic. Character. Character. See where we, are, where we read? Unless we suffer with him, we cannot reign with him. We have to suffer to reign. We have to. All the trials, they must come up. That's the testing time. When we are facing it, God is gracious to give us strength to overcome it. And I've been doing that. I will continue to do it in Jesus' name. If we can now ask ourselves, we can now ask ourselves that why must we suffer to reign with Him? Why must you suffer to reign with him? Why must I suffer to reign with him? The reason for this is that, you know, character simply never made without suffering. Character never made simply without suffering. So I'm reading this one. I'm, can let us go to the senior church ages, the condition of the age. You can type it. So I'm going directly to the message. I have to copy that because of the time. So the reason for this is that character simply never made without sovereign. And this character is a feature, not a gift. Our prophet told us that character is a feature. Um, it's, it's a feature, it's not a gift. If you have a good character, you have a gift from God. In our uh, proverb, in one proverb in our language, they say, Open it so one. Olo, Lori, or call. If a sister, if a woman, 
loses a character and he was telling people that it was not fortune to get a good husband. How will you get a good husband? Well, you don't have character. That's it. Character is a fig tree, not gift. And a man without character cannot reign. A man without character, likewise a woman without character cannot reign. If you don't have good character, you cannot reign. If I don't have, I cannot reign. We cannot reign with our Lord Jesus Christ when he comes. Because power apart from character is satanic. Power apart from what? Character is satanic. God bless you, my sister. Yes. Look at it. A man without character cannot reign because power apart from character is satanic. If you don't have character, every other thing that you have, you have promotion, you have all this, thing, you have everything, is satanic. But power with character is fit to rule. And since, and since he wants us to share even his throne, on the same basis that he overcame and he sat down in his father's throne, then we have to overcome to sit with him. So we have to overcome. So when we are passing through trials and everything, when we overcome it, you know, one after the other, one trial will come, after that another one will come, then you overcome. Look at David. When did David, when that, uh, look at his testimony. He said, when the liar came, that's his first trial. When the lion came, he did what? He killed the lion. When he came, I mean bear, sorry. When he bears, when he came to pick one of his uh, sheep, what did he do? He killed it. That's first trial. Then second, bear, I mean lion came. Another one, lion stronger than bear. And gave him, gave, God gave him victory over lion again. After that, then Goliath came. Look at it. After that, he reigned. God will give us grace to be able to stand when we are facing our own testing time in Jesus' name. But power with uh, character is fit to reign. And since he wants us to share even his throne on the same basis that he overcame, and he said that his father's true. Then we have to overcome to sit with him. And the little temporary so sovereign. And the little temporary sovereign we go through now. is not worthy to be compared to the tremendous glory that will be revealed in us. You see, when he comes. This little tumult trial, headache, sickness, all this thing. Uh, uh, it, we, can, we cannot compare it. What, what God has for us when he comes to take us home. God will give us grace to stand in the time of our trials in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what trials are laid up for those who are willing to enter into his kingdom through tribulation. You see, God wants us to develop a Christ-like character that comes through trials. Yes, go up. Go up. Think, okay, yes, go down a little bit. I want to try for them. Then think, it's not a strength concerning the fiery trials that are to try you. That, that is what Peter said. Is it strange? Is it strange that God wants us to develop a Christ-like character that comes through sovereign? Is it strange? Abraham was asking. No, it's not strange. He wants us to develop Christ-like character when we are facing, when we are passing any trial or, or, or suffering. He knows about it. And he's always by our side. He wants to see our action. He wants to see our attitude. Whether we are going to deny him. Look at what happened to Job. Job did not deny him. That is what we call Christ-like character in Job. He stood by the word. No shaking. Every other thing gave way. But no, even the wife came to meet him 
Why can't you deny this God and die? This suffering is too much. See warm everywhere. That is Christ like character. He stood by the word. He said, No. I would rather die for me to deny this Jesus, to deny this God. See, the man under the under what? Under the shed of the bull and of animal. And I don't believe that they have this big Bible. They don't have strict straw. And we have everything that, to, 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 that will help us, enable us to stand by his word. We have the Bible, the word of God. We have God in our midst. We have the word of prophet. We have prophet in our midst. God will help us in Jesus' name. Character. Without suffering with him, my brother and sister, we cannot live with him. And God wants us to cry there, true sovereign. No, sir. And we all have trials. We are all tried. And sustain our sons. No one but goes through that. The church that is not sovereign. Yes, the church that is not sovereign. And is not being tried. As in God it. Isn't it isn't of God. You see, the church has not even faced any trial. That everything just going on smoothly like that, like that, like that. But our brothers, that, that church have not, haven't got it. It hasn't got it. God will help us in Jesus' name. And through to it all, our God is able to help us through. He has been helping us through, and God will keep on helping us through in Jesus' name. You see, let's go further. And I want us to understand this morning that we are not mayor by our physical appearance. I'm not mayor by my physical appearance. You are not mayor by your physical appearance. We are not mayors by our muscles and by our statues. But we are mayors by our characters. We are what? We are mayors by our characters. Man is not mayor by his own muscle. Or see my muscle. See how I how much I like I remember my little Elijah then. If I say come and show me your power, he will do like this. I say I get muscle. Look at this. Small boy then when he was age of uh, four or five. Say see my muscle, I get power. So our prophet was telling I was telling us now that we are not mayors by our muscle, by our character, by our power. By our physical appearance, but we are measured by our individual character. Whether you have good character or bad character, you've been measured by your character. I've been measured by my own character. Then look at, let's go to message priest on the 560731. Raising Dairos daughter, paragraph 28. Paragraph 28. Man is not mayor by his own muscles or by his own status. You can check it. See it. So keep time. You can get it. Man is not mayor by his, by his muscles or by his status. A man is mayor by his character. What he is is he by his character. What you are is by your character. What I am is by my own character. We are not measured by our physical appearance. Raising Jairus' daughter, 560731, paragraph 28. Paragraph 28. Zero seven three three one raising Jairus daughters raising Jairus daughter paragraph thirty twenty eight paragraph twenty eight Oh, how wonderful. This means, okay, let's just go straight to the, where that quote because of the time. Certainly, 
Man is not measured by his muscles or by his status. A man is measured by his character. Whatever he is, he is by character. That's it. We are measured by our own character, not by, our, not by what we have, not by the property, the money we have in the bank, the fleet of car I have. No! We are measured by our character. God help us. Another place is not, man is not judged by how big he is or how strong he is, his muscle is. Man is judged by character and character alone. That's 560401M, the mighty conqueror. Paragraph 97 to 98. The mighty conqueror. Yes. Many times that people judge people by the way they dress or by the way or by their status. Man is not judged by how big he is and how strong is Moses. Man is judged by character. And character alone. Then I've seen men that weighed 200 pounds and didn't have an odds of, odds of a man about them. You see, they weigh 200 and they don't have just single uh, uh, spirit of man in them. Man is judged by character. Man is judged by what? Character. What he is in his heart. What is in your heart? What is in my heart? And Christ was not judged by physical strength. But he was never judged by, he was never, okay, physical strength. But he was judged by character. And never a man ever lived like him. Or ever a man could ever die like him. Never a man could ascend up, up, up on high like him. Because he was God. And I am him. And it was God. I am a I am a no man. He made of himself no reputation. Did you ever think the man that made the man that made an artificial house made a reputation? The man that made false teeth made a reputation. The man that made a wooden arms made a reputation for himself. But the man who made the original high. Then the man who made the original arm made of himself no reputation, but, be, but, but became, but become a servant, a bondsman unto men who were sinner that he might then, he might win them back. So God become, became sinner because of you are high, so that he might win us back with uh, his good character. Brother and sister, good character. So that's 90. Okay, yes, let's stop there. Let's stop, let's go further. Now, how do we know our character? Yes, this is another question. How do you know your character? How do I know my own character? Our character is made known by our works. Our character is made known by what? By our works. Let's go to the message preached on the. Our character is the word. Before we go there, no, our character is made known by our works. You know, even the Bible said that by their fruit, we shall do what? We shall know them. I think that's a book of uh, Matthew chapter 7. If I'm right, let's, let's check. Matthew 7, I think chapter from first is uh, 25 or 26. Let's put it Matthew. 27 Matthew 27 I think by their fruit which I know them I think it's Matthew 27 Matthew 7 first uh, yes God bless you that's right let's start from uh, first 20 let's go to first uh, let's start from first 26 first 26 you shall know them by their fruit do men gather grapes of thorns or fixed of testus. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. A good tree 
cannot bring forth evil fruit. It's not possible. A mango tree cannot bring forth bitter leaf, bitter leaf. It's not possible. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. It's not possible. You know, our prophet said in one of the sermons, said that if a Christian, it, uh, if a Christian commits sin, a real genuine Christian, providence is a mistake. But if, if a sinner, unbeliever, if they do anything good in their life, our prophet said it was a mistake too. It is a mistake too. Because you cannot see any good thing in the, weak, in the wicked persons. You can never. Every tree that brings not forth, forth good fruit is held down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit, you shall know them. You see, by their fruit, by your fruit, by the fruit that you bear, we know your own character. You know my own character through the fruit that we bear. God will help us in Jesus' name. Now, a prophet said that our character is made known by our works, by their fruit, which I know them. Then you, you see, a man's character is made known by his work. A man's character is made known by what? By his work. My own character is made known by my work. Then we can let's, let's go to that message 570818. Time testing memorials of God. Paragraph 52. 570818 0818 Time tested memory of God. May God bless you. Yes, 572. Then you see, a man character is made known by his work. Whatever you are, your works prove what you are. You see, whatever you are. Your works do what? Proves what you are. No matter how much you testify, whatever you say, prone or con, that has nothing to do with it. What you are saying, your testimony doesn't have anything to do with it. Prone or con. Your works test what you are. Your word did what? Your word do what? Your word takes what you are. My works tell me what I am. Tells what you are inside. Your work tells you what you are inside. What is inside of you? It's your works that will tell. Every job that you do manifests what you are. Every job, everything that we do manifests what we are. And your business, and you businessmen, if you just do a patch up job, see what I mean? Just a halfway job, don't do that. If you can't do it right, don't do it at all. If you cannot do it, we should not even lay our hand around there at all. That is right. When you come to Christ, now, go up. When you come to Christ, if you can't absolutely sell out luck and stock and body and come to Christ, don't come at all. See? If you want to come to Christ, if you want to come to Christ, we have to sell our heart completely. Everything. All the worldliness. Immorality. Lost it. Committing fornicating adultery. You have to forsake all those things. If you are not ready to do that, don't come to him at all. Don't come to Christ at all. That is what God wants you to be. Oh, sorry. Don't come at all. But when you really want to be a Christian and stand out, make it real. That is what God wants you to be. And that is, and that will prove your works, will prove what you what your character is. Your character is 
known by the works that you do. Your work, your character is proved. Your character is known by the works that you do. The way you behave when you get to school, in your place of work, everything you are doing, they are watching you. They will look at you, whether you are a Christian as you are professing. God will help us in Jesus' name. You see, your works tell what you are. Tell what you are. Yes, a man's character is known by his work, no matter what he says. I've said that on earth. That a man's word is his character, and a man's and a man. Then that's another place. And a man's word is his characteristics. So let's go there, my brother. Sorry, my sister there. Then 57.0623, because of the time, I have limited here. Sorry. I, wrote, I need to rush that now. Then 50, well, you get it, can you? I get it and, and read it when you get home. 57.0623, believe, believe from the heart, paragraph 21. A man's word is, is characteristics. A man that is worse is not good then you will never have confidence in that man. Your words is your character. My words is my character. But if your words are not good, no one can have confidence in you. I cannot have confidence in you. You cannot have confidence in me. If I tell you something today and tomorrow I change it, you will not have confidence in me. That, that is showing the kind of character that I have, that you have. A man that is the words is no good, then you will never have confidence in that man because he, his words is no good. Because his words no good at all. 570623. Believe from that. Yes. You see, look at it because of the time. Now, if you take a man, no matter how good he tries to be, if his works are evil, all the goodness won't amount to nothing. All his words will do what? With man to nothing. And a man's word is his characteristic. And a man that his word is no good, then you will never have confidence in that man. Because his words are no good. So therefore, God our Father, his character and his works prove what he is. So when the Jesus Christ came on this earth, you see his character, his words prove what he is. My brother and sister, our bad characters at times do us more harm than good. Not at times, always. Our bad characters at times, our bad always, our bad character always do us more harm than good. Can you see, let us under quote, can you see, brother, sister, why we are not progressing like we ought to? It is our own character that is tearing us down. Our character, bad character, tearing us down. Let's go to that place. Sorry, I'll, I'll be running, I'll be rushing so that I can meet up. 570310E. Hear ye him. 570310E. Hear ye him, paragraph 27. Can you see, brother, sister, why we are not progressing like we ought to? Yes, God bless you. Can you see, brother, sister, why we are not progressing like we ought to? It is our, it is our own character that's turning us down. Yes. It is our character, the way we behave. When we profess to be Christian and we are doing other things. So is this our character that's turning us back, character that's turning us down? God will help us in Jesus' name. And also, it is our character, our conduct, that gives God confidence in us. If you have good character, Christ-like character, God will have confidence in you. God will have confidence in me. That's another place, 570519A. Hear ye him, paragraph 38. It is your character, your conduct, that gives God, God confidence in you. If you have good character, 570519A, hear ye in, paragraph 38. It is your character, your conduct, that give God confidence in you. 
You see, your character, you have good character, you have Christ like character. God will have confidence in you. God will have confidence in me. Our prophet said, God is looking for somebody that will have confidence in. Yes, God bless you. Hello, yes. Then, only, okay, God puts you in the family. It is, your, let's, let's go down a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Now, when it become a son, when he was uh, adopted into the same family, he was born in. Now, listen, uh, pres uh, pres Presbyterian, friends, Methodist, and Baptist, and uh, Pentecostal, and put your and put you in the fa and put you in the family. It is your character, your conduct, your conduct that gives God confidence in you. The reason that the reason that we haven't got the great church marching on today is because God can't find people to put His confidence in. The Holy Spirit keeps saying they are tearing up. They are breaking up. They are doing this. They are off of the line. Stay with God's words. That is God's truth. That is the pattern. That is the blueprint. That is the reason the church, and uh, uh, that is the church, and that is the reason the church today has got all kinds of ism and everything in it. It because they don't stay with the word. They won't listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit won't testify of one other thing. But God's word. Holy Spirit cannot tell us any other thing but God's word. That is exactly right. That is what? Exactly right. If we don't have good character, God cannot have confidence in us. God will help us, my brother and sister. Then finally, rounding up. Finally, this morning, my brother and sister, you had better come before it is too late. So this I'm reading from uh, the, 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 the and the exposure of seven church ages. That is Laodicean Church each. Laodicean Church each. You can find it and get it. You had better come before it is too late. Say the Lord. And buy of me good tried in the fire. And then you will be you will be truly rich. Are we getting it? So let's get it. Let, I want us to so flow together. I'm rounding up. Who help us this morning? In the name of Jesus. Character. It's space to have good character, my brother and sister. Our prophet was telling us that we came to this world physically naked, and then he said, Naked, we will not leave this world. Yes, God bless you. You had better come before it is too late, said the Lord. And bad of me, good, tried in the fire, and then you will be truly rich. Are we getting it? Listen to me. Naked, physically, we come into the world. I want to listen for you. Our prophet said, are, are we getting it? They listen to me. Naked, physically, we came into the world. But naked, spiritually, we will not leave it. No, naked, when we came to this world, we will not come with anything. We will not come with money. We not come with education. We not come with uh, a fleet of cars. We not come, have come with dollars in our bank. We not come. We came lake naked, physically. We came, and then our prophet told us, "We come into this world, but naked, spiritually." I want you to note it. I want to you reading along, but naked, spiritually, we've not lived this world. Naked. Spiritually, we will not leave it. That as we are going naked spiritually, we will not leave this world. There is something that have to, we have to go with. So let's go. We see it now. Oh no, we are going to take something with us. Hmm. We are not go. We go. We are not go with, with something with us. What that something is? What that something is is all we can take with us. What that all what that touch that something is is that's only thing that we can take with us. Nothing else. Nothing else. And nothing more. So we had better be real careful now. We had better be real careful now to see that we take something 
that will make us right before God. That will still take something that will make us right before God. That will make me right before God. That will make you right before God. Forget about this worldliness. It's you to struggle. I'm not saying we will not struggle. The Bible says if we don't work, we will not eat. No, we struggle. But we will not allow our struggleness to take us away from the main things. Knowing Christ is the main thing. God will help us in Jesus', in Jesus name. I promise that God did not put us in this uh, world, in this uh, to come and work in the factory. He did not just put us here to come and work in the factory alone, to come and do a lot of things, dancing, marrying. No, but He put us here to come and display the Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, to display to the world, to have the baptism of the Holy Ghost in us, so that will be the written epistle being read of all men. When people see us, they will see Christ in you. They will see Christ in me. That's why we put that major thing. That's the primary thing. Every other thing is secondary. God will help us this morning. Sorry. Take something that will make us right before God. So then, what we, what will we take with us? This question. What will I take with me? What will you take with you? We take our character. You see, we will do what? We will take our character. Okay, sorry. Okay, what we take with us? We take our character. Brother, that is what we will take with us. Now, what kind of character will you take with you? This question for you and me this morning. We have to allow this one to be ringing bell in our heart, in our soul, every day, every step, every minute, every hour, every time, every step we take. What kind of character will I, will, you, will I take with me? What kind of character will you take with us? Will you take with you? Now, what kind of character will you take with you? Will he be like his whose character was molded by sovereign in the fairy furnace of affliction? Or will he be the softness of this? Characterless Ladosian people, non challenged attitude, careless attitude, character of the Ladosian age. God sent prophet to come and take us away from Ladosian age to bright age, to eternity. We should not remain in that Ladosian age. Sovereign in the fairness, fairness of the action, or will it be affliction, or will it be the softness of this characterless Larisian people? It is up to each one of us. It's up to each every one of us this morning. It's up to you, it's up to me this morning. For in that day, every man will bear his own burden. For what? In that day, every man, every one, every woman, every one, every person, we bear his or our own body. We are going to account for him how we live our life. It pleased my brother and sister this morning to have a Christ-like character. God will help us. Finally, let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter 4, chapter 4, verse 6, then we round up. Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, my brethren, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on this. Let's all keep on thinking of this thing, my brother. This is good character. God will help us. Give us grace to live the life that worthy is gospel and have a good character in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let us stand up. Let us bow our head and pray. Let us talk to God this morning. Then, you know, prophet, prophet, prophet told us it is better we go with him with a good character. We will check our life this morning and talk to God that God will help us 
for to have this good Christ-like character. It's not what we can do ourselves. We cannot do it. We have to depend on him. And God is able. He's more than able to do it for us. If we ask anything in his name, he's always faithful to answer our prayer. Let's talk to God in our own way this morning, briefly. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. O oh Lord, dear Father, King of glory, your words have gone forth again this morning, and you can never return for it, O oh Lord. We have heard your word, O oh Lord, character, and it's based to have good character, O oh Lord. Dear Father, King of glory, and to have Christ-like character, humility, total obedience to your word, kindness, loving one another, be in unity, Lord. This is Christ-like character. This is our heart desire this morning, Lord. Grant it unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, every spirit of disobedience to your word, O oh Lord, take it away, O oh Lord, from our heart in the name of Jesus. And replace it, O oh Lord, for total obedience, O oh Lord, in your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you continue, Lord, may you continue with us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Praise the Lord. Are we blessed again? Let us clap unto our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us clap. Let us appreciate him. God will help us. It's peace to have good character in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's sing a song leader will come directly without wasting time. I think 204. I don't know whether I will know it. What a day that will be. 204. I love that song. I love it so much. Amen. The song leader will come. 204, 204. I think it's 204. Yes. Yeah. What I did that would be. That is called me in a day when no heart is as for. 